All right, let's be honest. I always love a fun kitchen tool. And when I saw Chef Ian use those golden cups to make those delicate pastry cups that he filled with tuna, it reminded me that I have this rosette iron to make cookies. So to get started, I need to preheat my oil and bring it up to 180 Celsius. While that's heating, I can make the batter. So I'm starting with some flour and I'll add to that 125 ml of milk and the same measure of soda water. This makes this batter crispy and light. Two eggs, 12 grams of sugar, a pinch of nutmeg, and a splash of vanilla. And then once the oil hits its temperature, it's time to make the cookies. You just drop it into the batter to the top of the iron. Right back into the oil. And within a matter of seconds, you can pull the rosette off of the iron, warm it up, and then keep dipping. It only takes about a minute, 90 seconds to cook these rosettes. You just let it float in the oil until you see it's a nice golden brown. And I just use a skewer to pull it out and put it onto my tray to drain. You start getting a rhythm to it, and you can have a few going at once. There we go. After these have cooled, you can dust them with icing sugar, and they are best enjoyed the day they're made. It takes a lot of icing sugar. You can just tell how light and airy they are, just like Chef Ian's golden cups. Another dusting of icing sugar. Oh, and you know these will be gobbled up in no time. 